In Creo Parametric, all the static components in an assembly should be fully constrained. I'm cleaning up an assembly, and when I take a look at the model tree, I see a lot of components have a symbol that looks like an open box, and that means that the component is unconstrained or under-constrained. By the way, that symbol is called a glyph. And in the process of cleaning up this assembly, I found that my piping assembly that is failing is doing so in part due to this under-constrained parent component. So I want to make sure that this component is fully constrained. One thing that you can do is you can select the component and then choose Edit Definition from the mini toolbar. And I can see that this component has two constraints and you can add a third constraint if you know where it should be. The quick way though is to create a new constraint and then I can go to the constraint drop down list and choose fix. And so now it is fully constrained. When I hit the check mark, this component is now fully constrained. There's no longer a glyph next to it in the model tree. Let's take a look at a couple other ways of fully constraining a component. Here is another one. I will select it and then edit definition. And when the dashboard is open, I can hold down the right mouse button. And from my right mouse button menu, I have a fixed constraint option. And then I can hit the middle mouse button. And now that component no longer has an empty box next to it in the model tree. And probably the easiest way to do this is to select one or more components. I will use the shift key to select all four of these components. Let me zoom out so you can see a little bit more where they are on the screen. And so actually, let me do that again. I'll show you if I select them and by holding down the shift key, I have my mini toolbar that opens up. And one of the icons in the mini toolbar is the fixed location icon. And that will automatically add a fixed location to all those different components. Now, be aware that if you want to go in and add real constraints, for example, you might want to do a distance constraint or a coincident constraint in order to locate the component fully, that can cause a regeneration failure. So before you do that, you want to unfix the location, which can do so from the mini toolbar once more, and it will go back to being under constrained. But again, I don't know where exactly this should be in terms of actual constraints. So I will just use the fix location command from the mini toolbar. So again, all your static components in an assembly should be fully constrained and you can use fix location through edit definition or the mini toolbar in order to achieve that.